Welcome back to the show. It is a glorious morning here in Melbourne, one of the great cities of the world. And the sun is slowly rising over the beautiful and very clean Yarra River, they assure me. They assure me that it's clean. Anyway, I'll be jumping in later for charity. Well, it's what's been described this morning as a Catholic education funding war. Bill Shorten is pledging more than $250 million to Catholic schools if he wins the next election. The pledge comes after Education Minister Simon Birmingham revealed a plan to reduce Catholic school funding. Joining me now is Environment and Energy Minister Josh Frydenberg and Shadow Infrastructure Minister Anthony Albanese. Guys, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, good morning. What the coalition taketh the way Labor gives is that right this morning? Uh, well, we have said that we will put back the $17 billion that's been cut from schools. We had an agreement uh, to end the war over education funding with the Gonski reforms, and we'll put that funding back because we think that every child should be given the opportunity to be the best they can in life. Why, why will you be giving money back to the Catholic schools, though? Because the fact is that the Catholic schools have had their funding cut. Uh, we estimate, or importantly, the Parliamentary Budget Office, independent of Labor, mm. says that will add up to about $250 million in the first couple of years. But, of course, that figure increases over a period of time. Uh, that jams you a little bit, doesn't it, Josh? Well, only Anthony Albanese and Bill Shorten would think that a 3.5 billion dollar boost to Catholic education is a cut. That is what they'll get under the Turnbull government and under Gonski 2.0. It's a cut in terms of funding overall. No, it's not. We've actually been It's boosting. a cut compared to We've what they boosting. would have got. Welcome to Melbourne, That's what you've done. Uh, Australia's most livable city, Albo. But look, <laughs> uh, the fact is the Catholic schools will benefit greatly under the Turnbull government's Gonski 2.0. So you're not worried about this at all? Backlash from no, look, we Catholic are, voters? We are focused on our big boost for education funding, more than 25 you don't billion. Care about Catholic voters, do you? We, we really care about Catholic voters. We really care about Catholic schools and we really care about education overall. Okay. This, is a, this is, isn't about voters. Mm. This is about students and okay. kids, giving them an opportunity and that's what we need to do. OK, uh, let's talk about Donald Trump. He's preparing to sign off on trade tariffs. He was given an indication this morning that Australia uh, may be exempt. Here's what he had to say. Uh, we have a very close relationship with Australia. We have a trade surplus with Australia. Uh, great country, long-term partner. Uh, we'll be doing something with them. OK, we know the PM's been over there. Julie Bishop's also been doing work behind the scenes. Uh, Josh, anything to report there? If he's mentioning Australia, it's got to be a good thing. This is a very positive sign, and Malcolm Turnbull has led a full court press uh, with the Americans, uh, galvanising our ambassadors, uh, galvanising our business community, working with other ministers to put our case as to why our steel exports create jobs both here in Australia as well as in the United States. Is it going to work? Um, is, he, is he going to relax that? Let's just see what happens, but this is a positive uh, sign and these are welcome comments from the president. Albo, do you see it as a positive sign? Well, it is a positive sign and this is a national interest yeah. where one here uh, for Australia. Uh, the risk as well, even if Australia is exempted, there is of course a risk that what you'll see if uh, other countries are imposed tariffs, uh, you'll see an increased risk of dumping of cheap imports here and that's something the government needs to guard against as well. I think President Trump would be well advised to listen to people in his own party in the Congress and the Senate and back away from this attack on free trade. With the greatest respect, do you think the US president's going to listen to you? I hope that he'll <laughs> listen to the Republicans yeah. in his own party and the Democrats, people in the Congress and the Senate, people in the business community, internationally, particularly in the United States, are opposed to this move. But Carl, Malcolm Turnbull's been talking to Donald Trump about these issues for a long time, going back to G20. They have a good working relationship. This is a positive sign. The coalition stands for free trade. It's in Australia's interest. If Bill Shorten had been Prime Minister, he would have given up just like he oh, did on the TPP. Not, that's nonsense. The fact is... He did give up on the, the TPP. The fact is that uh, Labor's the party that actually opened up the Australian economy. It was the Hawke-Keating government reforms that gave us the more than two decades of growth that we're continuing to enjoy today. And we signed the free trade agreements with the United States, China, Japan. All right, I'm tit for tat here this morning. It is a beautiful morning here. <laughs> it is beautiful. Where's Christopher I'm a Pine bit worried morning? about you, mate. Why? 
the river. Oh, yeah. So, so a little bit later. Why don't you jump into it's the Yarra? Not Yarra Bondi Beach, mate. You do a Jim Courier. <laughs> you do a Jim do a Jim Curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, well, so uh, well, when I win the Australian <laughs> Open, I'll jump in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll be waiting a long time. This mate. is for charity. Maybe the seniors this over for charity. You something. two should do something decent for once in your lives. I think and jump as in the a Melbourne me. local, yeah. Yeah, that's Josh right. should show the lead and I'll follow him. Well, if, OK, if you jump in the air and, and also fix law and order in this state, um, then we'll swim across the area. Christopher Pine well. would Actually, have jumped in the river. That could be a deal. Christopher Pine would have Where jumped is in. I'd love to see you on a snorkel. He would have been in. Where is he? I don't know. He was worried about the river. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Have a Good great weekend. Good to be weekend. with you, Carl. Okay. Good to be with you, Carl. <laughs>